welcome back to the Ocheap channel, the channel dedicated to all things cheap and the world of fragrances. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about some fragrances and a line of the company that I've been wanting to talk about for a while. It was actually one of the first things I wanted to talk about on my channel. It took me a bit to collect some of these and get them in and wear them and see if they're worth talking about. I'm finally able to talk about them now and I'm very excited about it. I've been holding it in for a while and I'm ready to let you know about it and what all the hype is about. So imagine, you're in Walmart, you're going through, you're looking through the fragrance aisle like you usually do, trying to see what new ones they got. Maybe they have some new Cremo, maybe they have a new thing on Nautica, you have the Dior Fahrenheit, and you have your Cool Water and your Versace Eros and all kind of other stuff. And you see your Bod sprays and you see your Paul Sebastian and Aspen and uh, Preferred Stock. And then you look and you see some boxes that look like this. They all say Classic Match and they come in different colors. Underneath them it says our version of whatever. And you're probably wondering what these were all about. So these are from a company called Parfums Belcam. They are a clone company that are based here in the US actually. All of them say made in the USA, which is very unique. And they also have a website that's called Bell Cam Shop. They have a listing of all kinds of other fragrances that they clone, all kinds of designer brands that they imitate. But the one thing is that they're very inexpensive and they also sell at Walmart. I haven't been able to find these anywhere else but Walmart. I haven't looked at Target, none of the rack stores, none of those places, not even online on Fragrance Buy or Fragrance Net, just Walmart. So you really you could almost call these a Walmart fragrance or a Walmart knockoff in a way, but you probably wondered how they smell. Now, I wanted the same thing. I went through, saw these, decided to take one down because they weren't in the glass, spray it, try it out, and I was surprised. And I was like, do what now? And how much is it again? $10, under $10? What in the world? And I couldn't believe it. And so I'm very excited to talk about these. I'm gonna give you a quick breakdown, of my review on them, if I recommend certain ones over the other and all that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into it. The ones I'm talking about today are just from the Polo line. They have all kinds of different ones. They have some from Aqua de Joe and Armani. They have some from Blue de Chanel and Paco Rabanne and even Tom Ford. But I'm just gonna be talking about the Polo line because that's the most available and the one you see most often at Walmart. And I probably will talk about the other ones later, but I'm gonna collect a few more, try them out, and then I'll let you know when I do those reviews. But to start off, let's talk about the appearance. So when you first see these boxes, and I have another one here, they'll come in different colors and they'll all say Classic Match. And this one says Red Classic Match. You can guess what that is. You know, I have another one that says Black Classic Match and Blue Classic Match and all kinds of other ones. This one says Classic Match, our version of Polo. And of course, you have a lot of legal stuff on the side, on the back and all that. And you have some descriptions, but that is just for the box. Now, when you open the box, what you're gonna find is a bottle that looks like this. Very cheap glass, rounded top with a square bottom. And on the front, you'll just have the name Classic Match. And you can see the color on the inside of the juice is yellowish green. And as you can tell, this is meant to be the polo green equivalent. And of course, the top, you have a cheap plastic top and a carless cheap atomizer, the same that you'll get like on Chakar Noir and on Aspen and all those other ones. It just makes a big puff spray. Nothing to write home about, but at least you're getting it on you. So now, finally what we're into, you got cheap box, you got cheap presentation, but how is the juice on the inside? And I did preface this by saying, Again, a lot of these you'll find for $10 or way under, especially if Walmart has a rollback on these. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk about how they smell. This one starting off, as you can tell, is Polo Green. And I gotta say, it smells exactly like Polo Green. And I'm not overstating it, I'm not exaggerating. It smells exactly like Polo Green. You get a lot of that woodiness, you get some spiciness, you get that mossiness and that musk. It's very old fashioned, just like how Polo Green is, very loud just like how Polo Green is. It, is ex it smells exactly like Polo Green. I couldn't be more surprised. And imagine when I first smelled this, I was like, ain't no way this is just $10 or under. Actually, I think I paid under $10 for this. I was just completely blown away. And then I saw they had more of these and that's when I had to go buy them. So there is no note listing for these online. No one talks about them, but there are some descriptions on the back of the boxes, which gives us a little bit of what's in here. So they say it is a cheaper fragrance that combines bergamot, basil, jasmine, and musk into a true classic. So not a lot of notes in there, uh, unlike the original Polo Green, which has a ton of notes in it. And of course, those 60s, 70s when it was released, they just put everything in there, which I'm sure there's more notes in here than just what's listed, and you can smell it too. It is 
very, very nice. You do get that polo green performance and woodiness, the pine smell, again, the, the mossiness. It's very, very nice. Now again, just like polo green, you'd wear it in the colder months, you'd wear this in the colder months, in the fall, in the winter, in maybe daytime or nighttime. And as far as performance, even though this is, again, $10 or under, it performs very well. As you'd expect, if it's meant to emulate polo green, which is a very loud, long-lasting fragrance, this should do the exact same. You're not gonna get as much performance as polo green. You're also not gonna get as complex of a scent profile as polo green. You're not gonna get much of a dry down. Again, a lot of these, they're all smell very close, but they're all very linear. You're not gonna get any dry down or any complexity or any changing over time, which is fine. You're not paying for that. You're paying to smell just like it, just on cheaper, and it definitely does. So you're not gonna get a big dry down on this. You're not gonna think complex, but longevity, easily eight hours. Projection, very loud, just like the original one. It is very surprising for the price again. So this is regular classic match to emulate the original Polo Green. So then the next one, which was actually the first one that I picked up before any of these, which got me onto it, was one that you'll find, it'll say blue classic match, and you can guess which polo that's gonna replicate. And that is classic match to replicate polo blue. It's just like, and actually all of these have the same kind of bottle. Some of them have a different cap, but they'll all have the color that will be matching towards whatever it is that they're meaning to emulate. And this one is emulating polo blue. Now I did have a box, but I guess I threw it away at some point. So I'm reading you the description from online. It says it's a citrus fougere blending green melon, basil, moss, and patchouli notes into a modern day classic. With this one as well, $10 or under, and it smells exactly like polo blue. All of these really surprised me. And again, way higher quality than the price. You're getting that fresh citrus and woodiness, a little bit of spiciness, that aquatic blue nature, that zonic. It is very nice. Perfect to wear almost all year round, definitely in the spring, summer, and fall. It is a great warm weather, slightly warm in the cool weather fragrance. Easy to wear and appeal to anybody, anywhere you go. I've gifted this to two of the people and they have worn it everywhere. Performance on this is pretty average. You get about maybe six hours longevity, maybe five. Projection is uh, pretty moderate, maybe a little less. Then again, Polo Blue doesn't have that great performance as it is. I think this actually does about the same. This, just like the first one as well as the other ones, is a linear fragrance, so you're not gonna get any dry down or any complexity or any changing as you wear it, but that's okay because it smells great at the beginning and still smells just as great at the end, just a little weaker. Very surprising with this. I mean, I've worn this a good bit, and no one tells the difference. I'll let them smell me and they'll think it's the actual Polo Blue. And it's not, I have to tell them, nope, it's a knockoff that I got for seven bucks. So again, the Polo Blue replica, highly recommend it. It's easy to wear. You will not get any complaints out of this one. The next one I'll talk about is one that will come in a red box. And as you can tell, Red Classic Match is meant to be a emulation of Polo Red. And the bottle will look like this. You will have a red bottle with Red Classic Match on the front the little logo in black and a black top. Again, emulating polo red, it was a look like it. You definitely know what you're getting when you get this. So I wanna read the description on this one, which is actually on the side of the box. And it says, our version of polo red, is spicy, central fragrance, woody oriental that combines notes of citrus, sage, bergamot, warm cinnamon, vanilla, and amber. So we got a little bit more notes on that actually describing closer to what the original has. Just like the original, this one's very sweet, vanillic, fruity, a little spicy, that cinnamon, and you get it slightly, again, that oriental, some woodiness and amber as it dries down. Very nice fall, winter, maybe spring fragrance. Very nice date night, easy to wear, just like the original Polo Rib. It's just as smooth, a little creamy. It is a very, very nice approximation to Polo Red. I would say about 90%. Again, this is linear. You're not getting all that complexity and change over time like the original Polo Red might have had. Still, you're getting a good bit weight there with this. Very easy, warm to wear. A friend of mine actually really loved Polo Red, and I got him this just to try out, and he keeps it in his bag with him everywhere. Where is it all the time, and it smells just like it. Again, something so inexpensive and cheap, you don't have to worry about breaking the bottle. You don't have to worry about ruining anything and losing a lot of money. You can wear this and it will get you 
almost all the way there with it. it smells very, very similar, if not exactly the same. Performance on this one actually isn't all that great. It does do pretty well for the first couple hours, maybe three hours, but it dies down pretty fast. But still, it's so cheap, you can reapply it on and keep it with you anytime, anywhere. The only thing is with this one, I used to find this a lot at Walmart, but everywhere I've gone to, I cannot find the Polo Red one. You'll have a lot of these other ones from Polo, but not this one. So I actually had to order this on Amazon for about the same price I get at at Walmart, maybe $11, a little more. Uh, and you can still buy this at Belcom Shop's website as well. But again, very good Polo Red cologne. Smells exactly like it. Very nice. The next one I wanna talk about is one that will come in a black box and it will say black classic match. And as you can guess, this is meant to be the clone of Polo Black. And the bottle will look, again, like Polo Black. You have a blackout bottle with a silver chrome writing and top. Looks just like the bottle. Except these, along with the Polo Red and the one after this, have a different style top than the first two I talked about with the Polo Green and Polo Blue. It has more of this, a little nicer looking top on it, you know, but still the same atomizer. So the description on the box on this one says, it is an eau fraiche blending, leafy green notes, sparkling mandarin, ozo marine accord, sandalwood, tonka bean, and patchouli. It's a darkly sensuous fragrance. So again, a little more notes on that one than we did on the other ones, a little closer to the note breakdown on Polo Black. But this one, just like Polo Black, get those tropical fruitiness, a little bit of, there's some darkness in here, maybe a little incense, a little minerality. You do get that ozonic quality to it. A lot of people like to wear this at night in the summertime, in the fall, in the spring. Now, some people even wear it in the wintertime because that fruitiness might be able to carry over a little sweetness. It's very weird. There's a lot of people that don't like Polo Black. I grew up with my dad wearing this all the time. It was one of his signature scents and I loved it. It is one of the more interesting Polo ones, not mass appealing, but a lot of people, if you like it, they'll love it. But if you don't like it, they'll hate it. They think it smells a little inky. Uh, which I can kind of get. It does have a little metallic note to it. I think it's actually very nice. Very good, I'd say almost year round. More of a nighttime kind of fragrance, I would say. Good to wear for any occasion, formal or casual. It's just a nice one and this one is right along with it. However, you'd wear the original Polo Black, you could wear this one. Again, this is more linear. You're not gonna get any complexity or any change over time. You're gonna get the same in the beginning as you did at the end. Performance on this one is actually pretty good. You don't get a lot of projection after the first hour or so, depending on how much you spray on. But longevity is really nice. The first time I wore this, I sprayed it on my hand to see how it did, how it smelled. Was very surprised. I thought no one could emulate this because of how unique it smelled, but they emulated this perfectly. But I sprayed it on my hand, and I loved it, loved wearing it, and I went to wash my hands afterwards, and I smelled, and it was still there. So this one cleans on your skin pretty good. It has pretty nice longevity. I'd say maybe five hours. Again, all of these, besides the polo green one, has about five, six hours. It smells very nice all through that time. Again, you get that linear note, so it smells the same all the way through. It's just very nice. But this is a very good clone of Polo Black, something you don't see a whole lot of, and a lot of people wearing, but I think it's very nice, and you can't beat the price either. So those are all the original usual ones you'll see. You got Polo Green, Polo Blue, Polo Red, and Polo Black. Those are the frontier ones, the ones that you always see everywhere, you see in sample boxes. And it's the ones that you'll see most often at Walmart if you go looking for these classic match ones there. But there's another one that I picked up on the side that you can find now at Walmart. It is actually a Polo Flanker. And it will come in this light blue box and it says blue classic match but it is a different color blue and it is meant to emulate polo deep blue and the bottle will look like this it is a clear bottle with a blue classic match on the front and a different style top on it than the one on the original blue classic match so let's read the description on the box on this one which actually has a logical note breakdown it says this is their version of polo deep blue which is a refreshing aquatic scent it opens with crisp citrus notes of bergamot and grapefruit, followed by mid notes of sage and cypress, and a base of deep marine notes, musk and patchouli. So again, this one, exactly like Polo Deep Blue. It is so close to it. If you don't know what Polo Deep Blue smells like, imagine the original Polo Blue, but a little less on the wood and citrus, and a little more on the aquatic nature. It's a lot more ozonic, a lot more watery, a lot more, a little fresher in a way. And one thing I actually enjoy doing with this is taking 
this fragrance and layering it with the original Polo Blue. So you get both of them. You get Polo Blue with a lot more aquatic nature to it and it smells incredible. It actually helps it perform a lot better as well. So performance on this one by itself is the same as the Blue Classic Match one, the first one. It is about five, six hours longevity, moderate projection within the first hour maybe and it stays pretty linear so you don't have to worry about it changing or going bad anytime it just smells very refreshing perfect for spring and summer very nice and i think it's actually a pretty good layering fragrance it reminds me a lot of nautica midnight voyage with that dark ambery aquaticness to it it's just very nice fragrance and if you don't know what polo deep blue smells like Go ahead and get this, it's a great approximation, exactly like it. And again, you can't beat the price, $7 I paid for this one, which is incredible, especially for the quality I'm getting on it. So that's not actually all the Polo fragrances that Parfum Delchem has. They have one more in the Polo line that you can only find online, at least that's all I'm gonna find it, and that is their version of Supreme Oud, which I'm gonna get as soon as I get the chance to. The only thing is shipping is a little expensive, on their online store, but as soon as I get it in, I will give you a review on it and let you know. But again, guys, these are the five Polo clones from Parfums Bell Chem that you can find at Walmart for $10 or under easily. I highly recommend them. They are, again, very, very high quality, way above the price point you're paying at, and especially find them at Walmart. You can buy them right then and there. You don't gotta worry about paying extra for shipping or anything like that online, unless you buy it from Bell Chem Shop on their online store. If you like the original Polo fragrances, you will love these because they smell exactly like it. Overall, if I had to give an overall estimation on how much these smell like the originals, I easily have to say 90 to 95%. They smell exactly like them. Again, you might not be getting a lot of the complexity and performance like you would on the originals. Now really, you should be able to complain about it. You know what you're getting into. If you're paying $5 for a fragrance, you're gonna expect $5 performance, but really I think these perform and give you a whole lot more than $5. If you own any of these from the Classic Match line that emulate these polo fragrances from Parfums Bell Cam, let me know in the comments what you think about them, which ones you own, which ones you like, which ones you don't like, or if you own any of the other Parfums Bell Cam emulations, let me know in the comments which ones you like, which ones you think are the most accurate, the ones that are best performing, and I'd love to hear back from y'all. And I'm actually still collecting a lot of the other Parfums Bell Cam fragrances, so be on the lookout for whenever I drop a video on those later. And thank you guys for being here with me today. I really appreciate you staying and watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing if you haven't already to be ready to look out for other future videos I do on cheapies. Trying to smell good on a budget. And that's all I got for today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you all have a good one. Be blessed.